Hello and welcome back to another episode of Esoteri Warrior. And I hope everyone's doing well tonight. It's your boy, Sifu G. And I thought tonight I would uh, do a little talk on the infamous white eyebrow Kung Fu and mostly about the form or the set called De Satkun. De Satkun. The earth or the ground killing fist. I've also heard it called uh, uh, Chup Sap Yido De Satkun. The 72 earth killing fist. I think that could have been a water margin but there, <clears throat> there is capturing skills or seizing skills within the butt May system, a load of them. I come from a background of Hapkido, a Korean self-defense system that is massive on joint locks. And trust me, uh, doing joint, when you see these Hapkido masters doing joint locks quick and fast and the students bent like a pretzel in pain tapping it's real like and they know exactly how far to push a student through that tap like one little milli uh, meter one little milli millimeter and it's a snap so they'll be able to hold that and capture that person if it was uh, a real uh, real restraint, right? <laughs> also working in uh, security, you learn a lot uh, because you're not allowed to strike. So <laughs> uh, joint locks and stuff like that are, are really good to know. But the Day Satkun set uh, is really fascinating. It was created by, uh, I believe, Grandmaster Jan Lai Chun created it because when I look at all the different Bart May out there, <clears throat> the form is slightly different from uh, different uh, school to school, um, but primarily it's there. Um, the scissor legs and stuff like that, the Gui Ma, the kneeling stance, these are all uh, takedowns or uh, throws so it's important to understand uh, that uh, Kung Fu especially Bart Mei has ground fighting so you got to pull the form apart if you really want to master the ground killing art of Bart Mei then you got to investigate why it moves the way it moves <clears throat> every claw is a joint lock or a seizing skill of the, the breath or the vein. Uh, also muscles, attacking muscle groups and stuff like that. Yes, it's not how you see it in uh, movies, right? But done at the right time, anything can be applied if you practice it, right? But if you're gonna pull apart this system and uh, since it has a form base for the ground killing art then it should be trained as and I'm not talking just trained as in the form doing the form beautifully and and doing it correctly that's one part of the art um, and that's like you shadow boxing so there's a lot of up, down, coming forward and f jumping away. And these are quick in, sweep the leg and the moving out as they attack. There's uh, the scissor legs. I think in judo, it's illegal now because you can blow people's knees out if you do it correctly. And if you do it, <coughs> where it does blow the knee out, they're gonna smash their head on concrete, 
right? But uh, the injuries from the scissor leg can be uh, lifelong. There is uh, a lot of leg locks on the ground, reversals and sweeps, all hidden within the form. I worked out so much of this uh, set that uh, when I was doing judo, I've gone, oh, that's in but me. Oh, that's in but me. <laughs> and, and there's many other Southern Kung Fu arts that uh, utilize a ground form, like the dog style, the monkey style. Iron Snake has a really good ground uh, maneuvers. Yoko Moon, which also relates with the Bat Me from Jun Lai Chung. So uh, it's not uncommon. Southern Prey Mantis also has a ground fighting form. I think Pununga, the dragon leg uh, form. And that's a killer. That's a great set. Seeing Sifu Paul Rod do that. Oh my God, that was so good. Awesome. But yes. Southern Kung Fu has grappling and ground work, capturing skills, but you'll never, if you're not training all that like you would at a judo gym or a BJJ gym, then the form is useless again, right? <laughs> but once you start pulling it apart and go, oh, okay, I can actually see how this can easily be worked and then you, you create a ground game out of that, right? It has the basics. If you've got the eyes to see, it's got the basics of grappling and basics is what really wins, right? But it, it allows you to... Once you go down to get back up, there's kicks and uh, weird looking kicks in this, but don't take them always as a kick. Like when you turn and put your hands on the ground and kick up is also a throw, right? When I learned this set with uh, Yoko Mum, my sister said, oh, you can use it this way if you thought the guy was too powerful or too strong, pretend to, to turn and run, but drop down and kick them on the way in if they're charging. <laughs> but <laughs> yes and no, right? There's a time and place, but uh, I see that as a throw, right? Um, I would love to do a book on this with the complete way that I see how to use this form and make it complete from start to finish how to use pup me uh, for grappling because I've gone in and entered judo as well and I've used Yolkoman one exactly the same so yes it works but the form is one thing when you pull it apart and you see all the beautiful ways to get someone um, looks can be deceiving. So don't always look that there's a punch, it always looks like a punch. Those phoenix eyes are also about grappling once you grab someone. Right. <clears throat> So for me, if you was gonna, if I was to do a set on part main, I, I wanted to do grappling as well. I'd just learn that one set because it has pretty much uh, a lot of stuff uh, from previous sets in the system, and a few extra cool little things happen in there too. So there's lots to explore. I will eventually do a book on this form and show how to use the Isak Kun, the ground killing form uh, in self-defense because uh, 
if you understood the system, you wouldn't have to go and learn BJJ or, or other arts unless you're going to already broke down what you'd learnt and then go and polish it with arts such as judo, Chinese wrestling, stuff like that to hone your skill. Unless your whole class is based on grappling and using Batme as a grappling art and you've got your syllabus set up and you've got enough students to throw around and practice. But if not, uh, always test it with some other grappling art, right? And that's how you truly test it. Go against different grapplers and and test your test the art that you've been training for all those years. So it's a great set, great strength for the legs, up and down, good flexibility for the legs. Uh, it sets up using the three different body shapes, the sam yin, right, the, the, the round oval and the straight, so you're changing, just how you do the scissor legs, a good setup where it is in the form is uh, in a side stance like a side horse and you've grabbed the guy and then you slide in, bang, got the leg, so you got like a pinjin choy. So you look at that when you're grabbing the guy by the collar and you can just slide in, bang, and then smack <laughs> the head will smash on the ground for sure. Um, but that is a dangerous move to pull off because if you miss and you haven't practiced and you don't practice it, um, yeah, you're going to fall on your ass and get probably kicked to death, right? <laughs> so time and place for certain things, but that form has all the basics and some of the most advanced throws in a lot of arts has leg locks, heel hooks, uh, arm bars, triangles, all hidden within this one little set. So it's up to the practitioners, the new generation, to go, okay, Kung Fu does have grappling. Let's make Kung Fu grappling great again rather than go, oh, we have a form for grappling or against grapplers to take people down and to get back up or to lock them and capture them and submit them or break their neck and arms and whatnot. But we don't see enough of us doing it <laughs> unless they've gone to another a different, like a different club like judo. I entered judo so I can compete, you know, but it helps you polish your skills if you haven't got anyone to practice with. But coming from my previous backgrounds before Yolkamun, like I said, judo, boxing, and hapkido, then kickboxing and Yolkamun at the same time. <laughs> so I knew a lot. And when I saw it, started seeing Yolkumun forms as I started and seeing all the grabs in it and all the circular moves, I was like, they're all wrist locks. Everything, I, I could see it straight away. So yes, Kung Fu has a lot of locks and throws. Not every punch is a real punch. All right. They're actually grabs. Doesn't look like it, but it is. <laughs> That's what fills a lot of people. So I hope you enjoyed this small little quick podcast. I've included some clips. I hope my friends don't mind uh, uh, of uh, Bart May from uh, the internet, uh, people I know and some I don't know. Uh, I put them up because they're really good. And it shows the form De Sart Kun uh, of Part May. And uh, hope you all enjoy it. Stay fit, stay strong, stay focused. Until next time, Esoteric Warrior. 
I'm out of here. Ciao.